to make the cherry cheesecake single hack, you need the following ingredients. You need graham crackers, crescent rolls, vanilla, cinnamon, cherry pie filling, and cream cheese. Before I started, I went ahead and used a pastry brush and nonstick spray in each of the cavities so that nothing will stick. And then I'm going to show you how I converted a crescent roll from triangular to rectangular. Okay, crescent rolls are great, except they're triangle. I don't wanna work with a triangle, I wanna work with a rectangle. It makes it a little bit easier when you're adding stuffing, especially this cherry cheesecake filling. So I did go ahead and set them out as triangles, but here is how I actually turned them into rectangles. It makes it easier. All right, so I'm starting out trying to change this crescent roll because I have seen a lot of people make these and I don't want this to be in a triangle. So working it into a rectangle allows me to make a better pocket and keep the filling more on the inside than on the outside. I wanted to make this as easy as possible, so I went ahead and I took my block of cream cheese, added two tablespoons of sugar to it. I was freehand when it came to adding the actual cinnamon, and then I added vanilla, two teaspoons and maybe a little bit more. I went ahead and mixed it, and then I added in four full squares of graham crackers crumble. And here I'm going ahead and mixing in the graham cracker that I actually just crumbled in my hand and then tossed into the bowl. Okay, so here's what the graham crackers incorporated into the cream cheese mixture that I previously made looks like. I will use it by the tablespoon. Each of the single serve cups only really took about one teaspoon of filling and that wasn't including the pie filling. So you're going to want to err on the side of adding less instead of more, unless you want them to really explode and ooze, which really isn't the purpose of this. So I just cut back on what I was using and I feel like this worked well. All right, so to each single serve crescent roll that I had reconfigured into rectangles, I added one teaspoon of the cream cheese filling with the graham crackers in it, and then I added two to three um, cherries per filling cavity with a little bit of the juice. This way I wouldn't have too much over overflow and they would be easier to be able to close because I'm going to take those and pull them all the corners together and try to seal it and then flip them over so that we have like something that looks almost like a muffin, even though we're going for a single serve cheesecake. And it all works out, trust me. Okay, so what you're going to do is take each of the ends and bring them together then press them together, pulling them up, and make sure that you seal all of it. And then we'll turn it over once we've done that same process to each of them. First, you're probably wondering, oh, what a mess, and are they going to come out? But yes, they do, and they actually come out really nice. I'm letting them cool right now. So while these cool, I wanna go ahead and make a bigger version of these. These are bite size. I want to do the bigger size. Okay, this time I'm going to use a ramekin dish. So what I've done is already sprayed those with nonstick spray and I have separated these with a spatula and I'm just going to keep two pieces together, simply mending them by lightly tapping on each to make a ramekin. So here are four in my ramekin dishes and you can see they're ready to be. Doubling them does not mean that I am doubling how much cream cheese filling I am putting in, but you could. Where I did go a little crazy is I added a lot more cherries into this bigger size and it was easier to do and I knew that I had more of the dough that I could wrap around it so I wasn't as concerned about making sure that it would seal as I knew it would. Just like before, once I pinched them all shut, I then flipped. Okay, I'm placing them on my bake anything on it pan. It is a clean pan, but it's just been used a whole lot and it catches every single spill there ever is. So here we go, let's see how these turn out. These are the bigger version. Wow, these just came out of the oven. They look so good. And yes, they are exploding a little bit and oozing, but not by any means what they could have been. And they are single serve, so each person just has to take it out of their dish and serve it to themselves, and these will actually pop out without a struggle. Wait till I show you. All right, so here's what it looks like. You can see that even when I turn it, they came out perfectly. They did not stick, 
and then I added a little bit of powdered sugar. I cannot wait to try these. Neither can my husband. Here we go. We're gonna have the dessert. Good. Yummy. Yummy. And just in case you're curious, this is what they look like on the inside. There is plenty of filling and cherries. <laughs> 